Hey, hello there. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more live 2D stuff in this video. So here's that figure I was working on before. And I'm going to be working this texture into the head. You'll see what that's for in a moment. Here you can see I've got the full torso rotation going on now, so it's going all the way from side to side. There's still plenty of broken connections, but it, it's getting there. If we look at the face, you'll see I've got it working so that it goes all the way over to the side at the right, but the eyeballs overlap one another, and that it looks totally wrong. So I'm going to bring in that texture that I had in Photoshop. I'm just importing it as a, a ping file. All right, there it is. Just going to put that right on top of the face after I create a mesh and a deformer for it. Just call it uh, Bridge Deformer. All right, so let me just find where this should go in this hierarchy. All right, there we go. All right, so I'll just put it right on top so I can see where it is. So the idea here is it's going to overlap the left eye, but be beneath the right eye, so that when the face pans to the side, I can use it to block out the left eye. So I'm introducing some draw order changes to the parts of the left eye. So as the face is rotating to the right, those parts should recede behind the head. Sort of working there. Okay, so in this center position, it looks a bit strange, so I'm going to just crank the opacity way down. So it should fade into place when it gets to the three-quarter position. And then looking at the forehead, it does look a bit strange. It looks like the, the nose is just going way too far up into the forehead, and it doesn't at all look right. So I definitely need to play around with this and shift that downwards. That's looking pretty good for now. There's still a lot of stuff to change. I suspect once I get the eyebrows in there, it will look a little more normal on the forehead. All right, let me try introducing some keyframes in the animator. We'll just get a simple loop going on to see what this looks like. So, I mean, you can see here, the, I've got all these different body shines that aren't quite animated or attached to the rig yet. The hips sort of work, sort of don't work. You can see some really wacky overlapping changes going on that I haven't fixed yet. Uh, I guess that's about it for this video. I just wanted to demonstrate the addition of a sort of a blocking technique that can make rotations a bit easier to do and to just update some progress on where this figure is at. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this was interesting.